so um i say so a lot i say the word so like a million times a day a video is that my quest It's your girl Serena and I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be a car video. It's supposed to be a drive with me, but my best friend ended up calling me and we we're kind of just like talking on the phone the whole way here. And so now I'm just waiting for my best friend to get ready. So while I wait for my best friend to get ready, I'm going to be doing this video in the car. All right, y'all. So I have some Q&A questions from my Instagram that people have been asking me. And I didn't get to answer them on Instagram. So now I'm going to answer them in this video along with me talking about just additional little things that I want to add into the videos. Okay, so the first question is how, <coughs> how, how have you been and why did you deactivate your Instagram? Okay, so how have I been? I been good i have my days everybody has their days i have my good days my bad days my rough days my sad days my depressed days my happy days my turn up days my turn down days like i have all them days just like a human being so yeah but as far as me as a whole i've been pretty good why i deactivated my instagram so I just feel like I have like I said I have my days and when I feel like my mental health is under attack or I'm just mentally not in a good place or I'm getting like depressed or I'm just getting certain type of feelings or whatever or certain emotions are like on me I like to just kind of separate myself like I'll just deactivate my Instagram and I know a lot of people notice when my Instagram is deactivated because I post on Instagram every day. So if I don't, if a day like goes by and I don't post, people are like, what the heck is wrong with Serena? Cause Serena, Serena don't miss, Serena don't miss a day. Serena posts on Instagram every day. And it's not like I'm posting because I, I don't know. I post because I love posting. I post because that's what I love to do. I love to post. Like I love to take pictures. I love videos. I love recording myself. I love and I don't know, it's not that I'm obsessed with myself, but I feel like I'm more so obsessed with, like, memories. Like, just creating memories and having all these memories. I want to be able to have as much memories as possible. I want to capture every moment in my life because one day I'm going to get old and I'm going to look back at certain moments and I'm going to be like, wow, I was really that young. I was really that fine. I was really that turn. I was really that lit. I went to college with this person. I had fun, like... Just looking back at all your memories and stuff like that, I want to be able to do that. So I record everything. I take pictures of everything because I just, if I could literally record every moment in my life, I would. Because I would just, I just want to have it just because, again, the things that I'm doing now, one day I won't be able to do them. And sometimes you're just going to reminisce on it. And like high school, I remember when I was in high school, I couldn't wait to get out of high school. And now that I'm out of high school, I think back at high school sometimes and majority of the time i don't miss it but majority of the time i used to think like wow in high school i didn't have no bills like i had nothing in my name like not even my car was in my name like everything was just kind of like i always had help from my dad and my help from my brother and my family and everything was just like easy so like i said when i just feel like my mental health is compromised or just not where i want it to be i just kind of deactivate my instagram sometimes but it's never for more than a week like a week is probably the most i've ever went without my instagram okay let's move on to the next question how old are you huh, i don't get why that's an important question i'm not gonna tell y'all how old i am even though y'all probably gonna know because my birthday is in exactly 13 days so when my birthday gets here y'all will know how old i am so but i'm not gonna tell y'all because I don't know that's not even an important question like I, I don't know anyways why have you stopped doing your business um I haven't necessarily stopped doing my business y'all it's just life be having me in the choco like I mean I work full-time like I have a full-time job I go to school I haven't been working for like 
this year i just started back working like i have not worked since like the end of january y'all and it is now april turning into may and i've just started going back to work so i'm getting into the groove of stuff i got school i'm a full-time student so i really just have a lot on my plate and it's hard to like have a job go to school do hair on the side sell phone cases sell card grabbers that type of stuff sometimes it is hard but y'all i promise y'all for the summer i have a lot of stuff up my sleeve because my job i only work three days a week and like i said when summer comes around i won't have school so with my three days a week of going to work and then you know i've i'll have other days in the week to like focus on hair and perfect my craft and stuff like that i already like have a mannequin head i've been having a mannequin head for like the past two years that my sister-in-law bought me and i'm just trying to practice more and use it more to like perfect my craft learn new styles like the summer i have a lot of stuff planned for the summer so y'all like it's not that i want to stop doing hair i love hair more than anything else like honestly that's another thing i'm gonna talk about later on in the video like i love doing hair and i'm actually reconsidering a lot of things y'all so i'm gonna really talk about that in the end what happened to you and blank i don't see y'all with each other no more Ugh. i knew this question was coming because like i said if if people are used to seeing somebody on my story 24 7 and all of a sudden they don't see them no more they're gonna be like mm. but anyways i have a whole video coming out speaking on that whole situation what happened with me and that person so i'm not gonna talk too much about it in here i just know like once you you be weird you snake me you show your true colors i'm no longer going to allow you to be in my life and to sit up in my face and play i don't know what kind of game you're trying to play but i ain't trying to play no game so whenever people just do certain things i've just learned i'm growing and a lot of things i just don't want to deal with no more the drama the constant bickering arguing i don't want to deal with that in no way shape or form not friendship not relationship not nothing and as a friend if i feel like you snake me or you be weird to me i'm not even gonna come and confront you about it because we're all adults we're all grown and i'm pretty sure you know what you have done so i'm going to let you be i'm going to cut you off and let you do you and be you and i'm going to be me and do me and that's that i'm leaving that at that i don't want to talk about her anymore people is asking people is oh are y'all still cool yada 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 i don't i don't want to talk about it no more you snake me and you show me who you really are and that's all i need to see like that is all i need to see i don't need nobody for nothing i'm good on my own and i have my family backing me i have my family standing 10 toes down right behind me so i don't need people coming in my life playing fake for whatever reason because i don't need anybody for anything so the moment you start to act funny how come you and chancellor become became best friends so fast okay so i know this world or society has a stereotypical view of friendships and this and that and ideally when people think about best friend people think about 10 plus years knowing each other and this and that now me and chancellor have not known each other for no 10 plus years but as you get older and you grow into adult you realize that friends or your best friends don't have to be the people you've known the longest somebody you could meet somebody six months ago and they could have better intentions for you as a friend than the person you have known since preschool like people think oh i went to preschool with this person so this person needs to be my best friend because i have known this person all my life sometimes that best friend that you have known all your life is the friend that's trying to snake you is the friend that's trying to do you wrong so people need to understand that tom don't have anything to do with a best friend tom don't have anything to do with anybody being my best friend me and chancellor had experienced a moment that nobody well i'm not gonna say nobody knows but majority of people don't know they probably 
hear me go around it or talk around it on instagram but again nobody was there when certain things happened and certain situations have allowed me and chancer to just grow closer without us even planning it like we just click so much we connect on so many levels we have so much in common as friends like y'all there's some friends that i'll have where i will look at something and it's funny and then i start laughing and, and they ask me like oh well what's funny like what are you laughing at and then i kind of gotta break it down and explain the joke to them or explain why it's funny and i just with chancellor like me and chancellor gonna look at something and then we gonna lock eyes with each other and then we gonna start laughing because we literally think the same thing like we have the same mindset we so funny together like we are literally yin and yang speaking of chancellor it's him right now calling like y'all we we like this can't nobody break that hello where you at what you doing are you ready what do you mean why am i why am i down here i'm outside <laughs> Chancellor, our friendship just so genuine and you you can tell when you have genuine encounters and i feel like in my whole lifetime there's only a few people that i've had real deep connections with and that has been chancellor raylene daniela chanel like those are four main people that i've had deep connections with like i could feel that they are genuine people i don't ever have to really question those those people in my life and yeah how is school going school's going good uh, oh this is the important one because school is going good y'all but i've been really rethinking school like i don't know if i want to continue going to school next year i'm gonna have a semester off and i feel like i'm gonna try to use the semester wisely and really like think about what i really want to do because y'all i really love hair and i feel like i haven't been able to make a lot of time for hair like and nursing i love it but am i going down the right path am i going down the path that is really for me like is this really what my calling in life is is this really what god want me to do like i feel like my problem is working for somebody like working for somebody means they basically own you they don't they don't own they don't technically own you but it's like you work for them so whatever rules they make as long as you're employed by them you have to abide by those rules and i feel like that's my biggest problem right now i just can't i just don't want to abide by anyone's rules like i don't want to work for anybody like i want to be able to say these are the days i want to work and these are the days i'm going to work rather than you wanting to take time off and i have to put in my request and have managers deny your request like telling you you basically can't get this day off or that day off like i'm a human being and i understand y'all need people to work but i feel like i should be able to get the time off when i want time off like you don't own me i'm not owned to anybody so i don't know and like i said i work in a hospital currently right now and i see how stressed out nurses be they be talking about they going home to get a drink and i'm just like i don't know if that's the type of stress i want to have on me i've been through so much in life and i feel like from here on out i just want good things i just want and i know i'm going to have a lot of bad days after this i know bad days are normal it's a part of life it's a part of growing but i just don't i don't i just can't i don't i don't see myself being employed by somebody like i don't want to work for anybody like having to physically go to my job and clock in has got to be one of my biggest challenges like i don't i don't know and i know i want to make my family proud i want to make my parents proud so of course i'm really trying my best to like stick with you know this thing but it's like as time go on and i get closer and closer to where i'm supposed to be it's kind of like i'm slowly like pulling away from certain dreams that i wanted and i'm kind of leaning towards other stuff 
and so like i said the summer i'm really gonna use the summer to just really think deeply about what i want because it's pointless in me continuing school if it's not what i want to do and i know that's what will make my parents proud but this is also my life and i also have to look into what makes me happy what do i see myself doing for the rest of my life and if this not something that i see myself doing until i'm at least 60 then that's the problem you know me being as creative as i am i want to be able to like make up my own rules i want to be the boss like i want to be in charge like that's the position i want to hold that's the title that i want to have and it's not that i want to be a boss because i want to tell people what to do and point people here and boss people around I just want something for myself and also I just want something that makes sense when I think about it when I get a job and I work for somebody I feel like I'm slaving for another person like I'm literally making another person's dream come true working at the hospital somebody thought about creating the hospital they built the hospital and made it a vision and now they got people to work inside the hospital and now I'm part of making that person's dream come true by working for them and keeping them in business so i want to be able to have my own business y'all chancellor is calling me like he wants me to come up hello i'm coming i'm doing a video i'm coming i'm coming right now <laughs> i'm doing like the q a questions okay i'm coming right i'm coming right now I'm already ready. Like, I'm wearing the same shirt that I have. I just got to change my bottom. <laughs> okay, I'm going to come right now. All right. Having something that I could also pass down to my kids, like, that's something that you have to look down to. I feel like a business is something that even after I die and I leave this earth, it'll be stamped. Like, it'll be marked in history books. Not, not literally in history books, but it'll be there. Like, people will know of me. Like, that's how good i want to do i want to do i want people to see my work something that i work so hard for rather than just being a memorial hermit employee or a methodist employee or whatever like just being more than working for somebody and being an employee having your own business idea executing it and being able to leave a legacy like having your children carry on this stuff and even if I have a daughter and my daughter don't want to carry on hair or whatever, I mean, just knowing that I can look at somebody's hair and be like, that's my creation, that's my artwork. Like, to me, when I do hair, I, I, I look at it as art, I look at it as beauty, as creation, and I just want to see how creative I can get with this hair stuff. Like, I just really want to see, like, y'all, I have not been to a hair school a day in my life, and a lot of people ask me like what hair school did you go to who taught you how to braid who taught you how to uh, do cornrows to the scalp who taught you how to do wigs and everything that I know how to do I've been self-taught and I feel like if I really focus on like this hair stuff I can really go a long way y'all so I'm really just reconsidering like a lot of stuff and I don't want to I don't want to disappoint my parents or my family or anybody by like stop going to school but I just feel like I could and it's not even just about the money but I feel like I have so much more potential apart from school and apart from working for somebody I have so much more of me that I can show the world when you look at a at a company you don't know all the people that work inside the company you just see the company when you drop past the Amazon warehouse you see the Amazon sign and you automatically think of the owner, the person who owns Amazon. You don't know no individual that work inside that place by name because they are just workers. They are just employees for that business. When you own the business, when you are the creator, the mastermind behind the whole thing, this girl that really came from another country, came here and just built a life for herself that, you know, I wanna do stuff that's beyond my wildest dreams, y'all. Like I wanna do things that I didn't think I could do. Like, that's, I want to outdo the old version of maximize my potential and be, like, the best version of me to the point where I don't even have to introduce myself. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Y'all going to know me. Y'all going to know my name. Y'all going to remember this face. Y'all going to remember my name. And y'all going to know who I am one day.